Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and common question that we get is about meal prep and how to make meals, how to structure meals, what that looks like. And oftentimes I feel like with flexible dieting, people are kind of like stunted by the fact that they have so much freedom. So I'm gonna talk about kind of how Alex and I put together our meals for the week and what that looks like. The easiest thing and the most cost efficient thing is going to be have a base grocery list. So on almost every time that we go to the grocery store, now we do go to the grocery store a lot, but but almost every time that we go, we have the same like five to 10 items that we always get. And that's gonna be like ground beef, it's gonna be sweet potatoes, it's going to be yogurt, ground turkey, gold potatoes, English muffins, bananas, whatever fruit we want, spinach, rice cakes, the whole shebang. So these are things that we get almost every time that we go to the grocery store. So that makes it easy that we're not buying all these items that we might not use and we're really cutting down on any waste because we know the base level of everything that we're gonna buy. And then when it comes to making a recipe, we can go and buy it specifically for that recipe, but we don't have all these odds and ends sitting around. We have the base level of what makes up all of our meals. So with that and cooking in bulk, a huge thing that we do is cooking our main things in bulk that makes it a little bit easier. So things like ground beef where you can cook in bulk, have it in a container, be good to go for a couple of days, rice in bulk and have it in a container. Now with rice, I know sometimes with reheating it, it can kind of get Eh. So with that, when you reheat it, either putting a little bit of water or oil in the bowl while you're reheating it, or being able to put a damp paper towel is gonna make your rice taste just fine and be able to be good to go. Because the absolute worst thing is when you are hangry, you get home, you have meals that you need to eat because you don't want your food to go bad, and then you have to like wait 30 minutes for rice. No one has time for that. So being able to cut down on not using minute rice, although that is a great option if you're on the go, if you need a quick option for meal prep, but being able to have this prepped, being able to have sweet potatoes, which store well for a few days, as well as gold potatoes, and then having our turkey, chicken, steak, all that ready to go. Um, now with that, Something that I do that is really helpful is not adding any seasoning to my food. No, I know that might sound silly, but it is something that has been absolutely the best for meal prep because I'm not married to one flavor combination and I can change it up as the week goes. So again, I don't eat all of these meals all the exact same way. Maybe one day I have turkey and sweet potatoes and the next day I have turkey and rice. I can mix it up. I can do a little bit different route. Or if I want chicken and sweet potatoes, but I want it to be more savory or for is more sweet. It's not like I have all these sweet potatoes that are coated in Lowry seasoned salt or all coated in cinnamon, and then I feel like I can't mix those flavor profiles. So being able to cook everything plain with just maybe salt and pepper, and then being able to add seasoning along the way is going to be really, really beneficial, and you can change what that flavor profile looks like so you don't get bored within your meals. So being able to have this stuff prepped is super easy. Being able to have the base grocery list of, okay, we know we get this every time, what meal can we make from it? And then being able to make new meals along the way with more fun foods or being able to go and get something and you're like, hey, I'm gonna make it for this meal as we go along. So that's kind of how we structure everything by cooking it in bulk, having it ready to go. So if I was hungry right now, I could literally just put this in the microwave or I could put it on the stove and put some vegetables with it for something like zucchini that doesn't store very well once you cook it. Mm -hmm. Being able to cook this fresh and this will only take a few minutes versus having to cook all of this fresh because I find the number one thing when it comes to people not hitting their macros or not being able to eat food, food going bad, is it not being prepared for them. When I come home, like I said, if I'm hangry, I'm so much more likely to stop by Chipotle um, or another place and grab food than come home and have to prepare my food. So having it ready is the number one key to being able to stay on track, not waste food and not feel so overwhelmed whenever you go to the grocery store at all the options and all the combinations because you have your base list there. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions or wanna check out any other videos, give us a look at physiquedevelopment.com.